people to help stop the war in Vietnam. Because a whole bunch of young people were dying for no good reason. And they didn't stop until the war stopped. It was young people in the civil rights movement who sat down in a Woolworths five to die. And they wouldn't move until something happened. And the civil rights movement, the great march on Washington, that didn't cause the great great events of the civil rights movement. It took legislation. It took the Voting Rights Act. It took the Civil Rights Act. It took members of Congress like Jerry Connolly stepping up and doing the right thing. He wasn't around then, but you get the idea. A generation ago, I was very active in the gay rights movement. I fought for marriage equality. And they told us that we young people didn't understand that it couldn't be done. That it was too hard. Even gay people largely had given up. Much like many African Americans have given up a generation early. Because we've been beaten down so many times that some people, a certain generation, just give up. So all of you have to live in this world. All of you have to live in a world free of gun violence. In Vietnam, over seven or eight years, we lost 50,000 Americans. We've lost more than that in just the last two years. 33,000 Americans are killed every single year by guns. Two thirds of them are suicides. Of the remaining 10,000, half are accidents. This doesn't happen in any other country on the planet. We have failed states like Somalia and Yemen. We have higher gun ownership here. America's 4% of the world's population, we have 43% of the world's guns. And it's not just a school issue, all of you know that. You want to be safe in your church, you want to be safe in your theater, you want to be safe in your mall. And I don't think we want to live where everywhere is an armed camp. Where every single place we go, whether it's the shoe store or the grocery store, you have to have armed guards all around you. So the only way to win this battle has got to be through legislation. Legislation at the national level, and in Virginia, legislation at the state level. Now I just got back from Richmond. We spent two months in session. I introduced five bills on firearms. Democrats introduced a total of 70. 69 failed. The only one that succeeded is a license plate that says stop gun violence. But bills for universal background check, which I had, failed. Bills to ban bump stocks, failed. Bills to ban firearms to protest, like this one, failed. I had a bill that said, if you're so mentally ill, so violently deranged, that you are not safe to walk the streets because they're afraid you're gonna harm yourself or others, so you're involuntarily committed to a mental asylum, then that person should not be able to go and buy an AR-15. That bill was not even given a hearing. We had bills to say that if you committed domestic violence, you've beaten up your, your spouse, your wife, your daughter, your kids, that those people shouldn't be able to have guns. That bill did not get a hearing. And the answer is this. We have bipartisan cooperation on a whole number of issues. But on guns, this is an issue where we meet a brick wall. They are not willing to compromise. They're not even willing to discuss these measures. They're not even allowed to, willing to allow these measures to come to the House floor. And that's why I need all of your help. We need all of your help. We need young people to lead the way. Just as it happened two generations ago with Vietnam and civil rights. Just as happened a generation ago with uh, domestic violence and the Me Too movement, which has just started, with gay rights. Y'all have to do more than this march. If you're just here today to march and be with your friends and you go home afterwards, you're not helping the cause. This has to be the beginning of a movement. There have been marches all over Washington, D.C. And some of them, the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement became movements. Others, we don't even know their names because they didn't become a movement. So if you're here today, I hope you'll commit to coming back month after month after month. I hope all of you will register to vote. We have a big election in 2018. And in Virginia, we have an election every year. We got one in 2019. We have one in 2020. And the reason these movements succeeded in the past is because they said we will not stop until we achieve some kind of justice. So I hope all, you, all of you will repeat with me. We will not stop. We will not stop. We will not stop. We will not stop until we get universal background checks. We will not stop until we get a ban on assault weapons. We will not stop until we get a ban on 
bump stocks. We, we will not stop! Until it's illegal to sell a gun to people who've committed domestic violence. We, we will not stop! Until it's illegal to sell guns to gang members and terrorists in Virginia. We, we will not stop! Until we get comprehensive gun legislation that allows us to be safe in our homes, our schools, our churches, and our theaters. Thank you all for being here today, and please be persistent. You cannot stop with this. This has got to be the beginning and not the end. Your generation has to lead the way with so many of my generation and prior generations have failed. And the only way to do that, the only way to do that is through legislation. And that means if we can't change their minds, as Governor Ralph Northam says, we have to change their seats. So we have elections coming up every year. Register to vote, get out, make this movement until they hear our voices or we change the people that represent us. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Mark. I'm Congressman Jerry Conley. I represent you here in the United States Congress, and I have an F from the NRA. <laughs> and I'm proud of that F. I've earned it. <laughs> but look, we need to change hearts and minds. We also need to change the relationship between the gun lobby and politicians. When you ask why can't we get gun control measures passed, whether it be the state legislature or the United States Congress, I'll tell you the answer. Because too many politicians are bought and paid for. One of those politicians represents Congress in Northern Virginia. She is the 10th largest recipient of NRA money. She's not here today. There's a reason. A lot of other politicians are afraid of the NRA. We need to let them know politically they need to be afraid of us. We vote too. We care. Parkland reminded all of America, this is about our kids now. This isn't some stranger. All of a sudden, a place we thought was safe was not safe. No place is safe from gun violence in America when there are over 300 million guns in this country with unlimited ammunition. No American needs an AR-15 or any assault weapon. They exist for one purpose and one purpose only, to kill people. So what we're about today isn't just marching to feel good. We're marching to save lives. We're marching to encourage other Americans to join us, to win their hearts and their minds. And you are age, a, a change agents. My generation helped end the Vietnam War, as Mark said. My generation helped push the civil rights movement. And when we started, we thought it was a hopeless cause. But we won hearts and minds in America to our cause. You can do that too, you're already doing it. When the Parkland High School kids, your peers, started to lobby Florida state legislators, that was one of the most reactionary state legislatures in the country when it comes to guns. It passed gun measures, gun control measures, and the reactionary Republican governor, who is an A rating from the a, uh, NRA, signed it into law, not because he wanted to, but because you helped make him do it. That's your power if you use it. So register to vote and make sure you vote and make sure you ask every political candidate, where do you stand on guns? And you will change the trajectory of this country. And we'll make it a lot safer for future generations who will never again have to worry about safety in a school. So that's the importance of what we're doing today. Thank you for being out here today. Keep the spirit. Keep the fight. Don't be discouraged. And people like me will have your back. God bless y'all.